Hi, it's me, Dora V here, and today on Louis's birthday, he's gonna get a reading from the Tree of Life. And quite honestly, some of these reversals make me very uncomfortable. Not all of them, there's actually one reversal that isn't too, too bad, but uh, some of them make me very nervous. Intelligence, the Knight of Cups, which is a romantic kind of card and defensive and uh, and largely like the romantic guy like love the water and it's like a feminine male or can be you know like but uh, yeah not too warlike not really but this is a reversal which indicates kind of the bad part of romance, a like swindling, you know, like the gigolo types, duplicity, fraud, trickery. Uh, I do feel like Louis is capable of being this way, but I think it's more likely that he would be a target of it, not because he's stupid, but because maybe he might be a too idealistic, at least according to Nadog. But, uh, but yeah, I think, like, like, he's smart. I do think Louis is very intelligent, and the, but it's easy to underestimate him. I think people do have a tendency of doing that. So I think because of that, he would be able to outmaneuver other people, you know, a lot easier than you think. And, and yeah, it could be a warning about drinking and driving. I can't imagine Louis doing that at all, period. He drinks, like, there's candid evidence he drinks beer, so and I and I believe that. I don't think he would ever touch any other kind of alcohol. He just likes beer. And that's and maybe like liqueur, like a certain liqueur that warms you. No, not vodka. That's Nadog. But I can't imagine Louis drinking it, driving at all. So that might be a reversal right there. But I think he's a lot smarter than people think, and he's he is capable of setting aside a morality sometimes when he feels like he has to. So, yeah, don't underestimate him, basically. Spiritual is about as perfect as you can get. This is judgment. Like, everything's absolved. Like, you do deal with the past, but it's done in a way that solves all your problems. You have second chance. He will definitely be getting that. Like, he will be fine. It means everything's fine. You're going to be perfectly fine. And his spirituality is perfectly fine. It's like, yeah, see here, it's a, it's an unexpected reappearance, so it's possible that that in his spiritual quest there may be some... But then he did already go through that, though, with Lionel, a reoccurrence, or so, yeah. And I do think that even with Nadog, there may be something going on there, too, but, so yeah, but, but this is only like for spiritual, like spiritual, spiritual things. Like, but he did already kind of go through that by becoming a nameless knight. And so, yeah, and so I guess in that way he was given a second chance. And I do suspect that it may very well happen again somehow. But this is a good card to see, like a really good one. And let's see, next, Wisdom. Also a very good one. This is the Queen of Wands. Yeah, this is kind of an odd look for the Queen of Wands. But I chose this one because it's not just fire, but natural world, plants or animals. So that works too. Uh, the Wisdom, yeah, I think he does have that. It might not be the same as Nadog, but it's definitely there. And I do suspect that women did and do have an influence over his life. Not so much his own mother, because in my head canon, I believe that she died when he was born. And I also view her as a queen of swords. But we'll never know, because I do suspect she died when he was young. But I do think that his wisdom does come from women of all kinds. But mostly the queen of wands, which could be Agatha. You know, maybe Lunar. I can't really see Lunar being a queen of wands. Uh, maybe some other women in his life were proven to be very strong influences. 
and that's where he gets his his um like loving honorable and i think that's that's where he gets his influence from like i said before i do believe that his second in command is a woman who is an upright queen of wands in contrast to azuka who might also be a queen of wands but is really could be a reversal but yeah, it's like they seem to have the same second in command, but the difference is that I think Louis second is a lot more subtle in getting her fieriness. <laughs> yeah, so at least, I mean, I don't know though, but, but I do think that the wisdom is definitely a Queen of Wands influence. I certainly, I mean, Nikki could count too, really, when you think about it. Well, why not? Yeah, so anyway, conflicts. The Two of Wands, <laughs> an excuse to use this one. That's why I got it, by the way, like this recharge is here. Not only for the doggy, but for the Two of Wands. And anytime you see a Two of anything, it means you have to make a decision. And in the case of Two of Wands, it's like a travel choice that you have to make a decision. He will either be advised to do this or he will have to do it. But it's basically, yeah, it's like six on one hand, half a dozen on the other. He certainly does go through a lot. And the choices he makes don't always bring him joy. That's pretty much canon. But he's probably going to go to yet another conflict where he has to make a decision one way or the other. This also involves traveling. So in my head, canon, he does travel. And then in canon, he has had to travel, and I suspect that he will be doing a lot more of that before everything is done. But yeah, the conflict will involve traveling and him having to make a choice. Growth is the devil. That devil. But it's a reversal, so his growth may involve whatever it is that's keeping him in bondage. It won't be in bondage anymore. That he has already broken the bonds of whatever problems he has. And that, yeah, basically that everything will be okay. That he isn't going to be... Like, he nearly learns to keep his uh, instincts in line. And, like, when it comes to, say, anger and rage, I think he does grow to make that a bit laser-guided. He does not strike me as someone jealous or greedy or lustful. He's, like, none of this. But I do think there's a lot of anger and rage. But despite all his rage, he's not a rat in a cage, no. But I think he keeps it under control. You know, despite the fact that I do think he is more than capable of blowing up. But he's is learning to be a bit more laser guided. At least that's how I see it. Compassion. So four of wands, like it doesn't matter if it's reversed, it's always the same. The compassion, I think this is something that he's always been and always will be. That he has a heart of gold and he's not gonna let anyone take it from him. It's just like in Demon Souls, you have a heart of gold, don't let them take it from you, and he has been following that advice all his life, and I don't think that's ever going to change. Yeah, it's rigid, stable from community work, but definitely a very compassionate person. Yeah, it's pretty much the same prosperity, and and so he certainly helps bring prosperity and protects it as a haven. And I think eventually that's what the Nameless Knights will be for a lot of people, but I do suspect that in terms of compassion... He's going to stay that way no matter what he goes through. And that's a good thing. Don't let people get the best of you. Career is the Nine of Cups. Also a reversal. I actually kind of assume the worst with the Nine of Cups reversal. Because Upright's great. But I thought the reversal would be like the opposite of this. But in this case, not so much. I think his career will be fine. Yeah, truth, loyalty, liberty, he's got all that. But yeah, income mistakes, imperfections, but that just makes him human. I think that yes, he will go through a lot. He will make some boo-boos. But in the end, I think his career will be just fine. Thank you very much. At least that's how I see it. That the cups. Intuition is the hierophant. The hierophant is basically a priest. It's it's hierarchy, yeah, like out of marriage ceremony, huh? <laughs> that didn't really happen for him. But intuition would mean what he consents. 
so isn't yeah like it's more about external control external laws and so his uh intuition could be coming from his father from lionel like from the men around him who function as cops or priests and and that's kind of why he talks the way he does as a captain himself you know it's uh as he'll say things like bless you or the dawn the light of the dawn salutes you or like well i don't know the exact quote but something like that so his intuition could be based on the current laws of mirrorland and north kingdom something like that so yeah, let's see what else the end and so the Hierophant represents external control, so that may be where a lot of his intuition comes from. I don't believe for a second, though, it's going to be the current king. Like, I don't think so. So, yeah, rigid, yeah. Prophet, pontiff, uh-oh. <laughs> He is not, as with philosophy, except on a theological side. He is not inspiration. He is not religion, although he is a mode of its expression. Yeah. And that's where a lot of his intuition comes from. Success is the Knight of Pentacles, which is a very conservative kind of, like, also pretty defensive. But this one's reversed, which his success, I guess... <laughs> Oh, yikes, it will be difficult for sure, I'm sure. Inertial stagnation, I, if he's not careful. I don't believe that any of this applies except for discouragement, possible carelessness. But I think it is made very clear that he goes through a lot, so I think that could lead to discouragement, which is why he definitely needs some people around him more than he already has. He has a Nameless Knights, he has Chloris, but it's going to take more than that to really bring him out of discouragement. Yes, and that's the only way he's going to have any kind of success. And But definitely not idle. Are you kidding me? Carelessness maybe. But yeah, he's going to have to have a dream to make the team work. And the teamwork making the dream work. Otherwise, he'll just get too discouraged. And that's not a good thing. And last but not least is his home, the chariot, which to me represents kind of how he is only more like Mystic Monday type chariot, which is a very lively kind of driver. You know, but despite that, he is someone who can plan pretty well and is surprisingly defensive, but can also gas it up pretty well. And I certainly believe he can. The only problem is it's a reversal, and the chariot reversal is dreadful, <laughs> because, like, ooh, it's a hot mess, basically, like, you have fallen out of control, you're getting out of control, like, it could also be, like, ooh, yikes, yeah, I see, it's a rest, reflection, planning, I think that in his home life, he is basically just, his hands are right off the wheel, and he isn't really planning properly. This, what? You know, so it's kind of like, he might not be doing so well as a leader as you think. What? Oh, come on. But I says his home life's upside down, but I imagine it makes sense because... He did lose someone that he loved and had hoped to marry. And so right now his home is in, or at least his, maybe his internal home is a bit of a mess. And so he's going to make boo-boos. There will be times where he's going a little too fast. The hands are off the wheel. And if he's not careful, he can end up crashing into homes, <laughs> which is definitely not a good thing. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, but see, given the surrounding cards, I do think that he has to keep his hands on the wheel and he has to keep his fiery self in control because if he doesn't do that, then he could end up very uh, wrecked. However, with judgment as spiritual, I think that he definitely will keep his hands on the wheel. He still has to watch it because he will be going through a lot. He already is. And so this is where he'll be needing people like Nikki and Orlando and Kimmy to kind of keep his hands on the wheel, so to speak. 
So, yeah, it's definitely going to be a mixed bag. Like, he will definitely have to earn his happy ending, especially given what's happened. But I think he will. I mean, for sure. I mean, he's tough and resolute. <laughs> so, yeah, I think he'll be all right. I certainly hope so, because he's actually, like, my other favorite character other than Nadog. And, and honestly, I think that'll do. Happy birthday, Louie. See you later. Goodbye.